Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I haven't made a Bed Bath & Beyond video in a while, and this is one that I want to touch on because this DD that's out there, this is like hopium beyond belief for everyone. And they're trying to tell you that BBBYQ is going to be bought out, and that's going to be carved out would be the Bye Bye Baby portion. And as you read this, they're going to tell you it's... It's all related to GameStop, right? Ryan Cohen, Carl Icahn, you, you read this DD. This is um, a written DD, and I know that it's written by Edwin Barr and Escape. I guess that's what it is. Uh, the unfortunate part on this whole piece is I've heard this story before. This whole thing is put in pieces together on the PPC show, where there's just hopium, and, and I don't understand why they don't understand that it brings no equity to current shareholders. So for these guys who keep buying into things, like I don't know exactly how they think this is all going to work out or plan out. They, you know, it's all about dates and it's all about times and prices and and the whole theory is that they're going to keep the stocking horse um, confidential. Guys, by nature, legally, the stocking horse has to be made public immediately. And why is that? That is to protect them. That's the function of the stocking horse. Um, there's some legality in there, but as far as trying to keep it a secret, that would defeat the purpose. Additionally, I've seen people try to buy the likeliness and the name of Bye Bye Baby, even the, the domain. But if you're going to buy this company, you're going to take what inventory with you? Like what bags are you taking if you're actually doing the deal? Like how do you carve it out? And I see it being auctioned off. That's half of it. But these guys actually have a belief that a portion of Bye Bye Baby and or Bed Bath & Beyond is going to be bought out by Ryan Cohen and GameStop. I mean, I went all the way to the bottom of this. I mean, I read the TLDR, and right here it says, you know, it's naming all this stuff that's happening and dates and financing and rounds. And I'm just like, I'm trying to run back, like, throughout the history of watching this stock and then the interviews that you hear and all the, the misrepresentation. You see, here's the problem with Bed Bath & Beyond investors. They're blaming people for the reason that they're in the position they're in. It would be market manipulation or it would be the lack of leadership or Ryan Cohen. He rug pulled us. It's none of the above. Like you guys are tied to private equity, period. And that is Sue Gove. That is everyone involved in this company. Everyone's here to what they call jump, to jump in because that's how they did on every other you know, distressed credit investment that they do. And this is Apollo, okay? I'm just letting you guys know. I know people don't see it that way because Apollo disassociates itself via bonds and debt and owning it. But those are the first individuals that get paid. Shareholder equity is not in that line. So guys, if you guys are buying into BBBYQ, there's nothing tied to it. It doesn't get to go with the new owner. So for everyone out there that thinks like they're going to hit it big or this is going to, I don't understand what you guys are doing. I don't think you understand what you're doing. Um, and then to read this, it says the stocking horse bid has been extended to Sunday, June 11, 2023, which pushes the final sell hearing date to June 27, 2023, which is exactly one week away from July 4th. And that would be 7-4. And I just, who cares if it's one week away? Like, how does that get you closer to the 4th of July? But what does that matter? He said power to the players. <laughs> Do you say power to the babies? And then power to the Web3 players was this right here was just trademarked by GameStop. And that's because obviously GameStop's in Web3 gaming. As I don't know how these guys put this together. You know, it says, looks like we're going to have fireworks. America's going to be born on, on the 4th of July. Uh, the brand new company, uh, Teddy, and the shorts uh, capitulation. Like, they really think this is all going to happen this way. And I'm not going to say it's not going to happen this way. I'm going to say it a whole different way. What if it does? What do you get from it? You get nothing. You lose every dollar you put in. I don't know how to tell this to you guys. The date of, and they'll even say something like October 8th. That was the day Ryan Cohen and Carl Icahn, they put a pic, well, they have a picture that was put on, on Twitter. And that means that they were there doing this deal on that date. And I'm just like, that's also the date of the great Chicago fire, man, from like 1871. Like, there's so many things that you could say about October 8th. Like, there's only 365 days a year. There are some days that can run together. There's chances that all of us on the channel spend, you know, a, a birthday together. Numerous. You only need 365 different people. We're eventually going to have the same date. So it's the same thing with the stock, guys. I don't know why they put coincidences on dates or any of the above. Um, that leadership team has failed. 
They are a terrible company, and Ryan Cohen is in charge of GameStop, yes. But I don't see how it would benefit GameStop to go out and buy a dead company with dead weight because that's exactly what they are, and an overpriced dead company. I would buy it for about 90% off once it files for Chapter 7. That's how I would do it. But as far as Lazard and all this other nonsense that you guys are reading, um, shout out to these guys who push out the hopium to the end. I hope it does get bought out the way you guys say. I hope it is Carl Icahn. I hope it is, you know, Ryan from afar, I guess, from like a third party. You guys are making it seem like it's GameStop, but that's cool. Um, I hope it's all the above for you guys <laughs> because what you're going to find out is you get nothing for it in the end. That's why I'm blown away. Like, who has told you that you're going to get some type of return on this investment that already has lost you 99% of the money you put in? I know. I'm the bad guy. I'm the naysayer. I'm the guy who tells you, you know, what you don't want to hear. Somebody has to. You guys keep sipping that shit over there. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's going to cost you everything. What? I don't know. I told you when Bad Bath & Beyond was going bankrupt. I told you they were carving out assets at the moment in real time. I told you exactly what's happening with AMC. I told you what's happening with Ape. I told you what happened with HYMC. I told you what happened with Kohl's right now. I tell you, I, I, I don't know how else to tell you this. All it is is to connect the dots and follow private equity. That's it. It's a very simple game plan. You go follow it, and then you'll see exactly what happens to your investment because they're there to tear it apart from within. But these guys are here to pump you up with, I don't know, fairy tales, dreams, hopes, and wishes. You know, another thing on October 8th, just so we're clear, that's the same date that John Lennon released the song Imagine. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's a difference between knowledge and imagination. Knowledge, there's a limit to it, honestly. What you guys know factually, there's a limit to it. But your imagination is wild. And my imagination is GameStop's the greatest thing on the planet. Get at me. Peace. And then my computer froze. Maybe it didn't want me to go and leave. Oh, man. No edits, no cuts. See you around. Peace.